perfection of Allah is declared when we say Subhanallah. So now Musa alayhi salam is saying, I need Harun to do tasbih of you. To do tasbih of Allah, which is strange. Why does Musa alayhi salam need Harun alayhi salam to declare the perfection of Allah? Please try to understand this very powerful lesson in Surah Taha. It's remarkable. Every human being has some flaws. Every human being and even a great messenger of Allah who has been chosen by Allah and Allah says everything about you is exactly as I want it. Even he says, I have some issues. I have frustration. I have a, you know, a tongue that gets tied. I need some backup. I can't do this on my own. Even he says that. You know what? We need people around us that fill in our gaps. If I have an anger problem, I need someone in my family that can calm me down. Maybe that's, you know, husband and wife are sometimes very different personalities. But that's maybe, and if you had the same exact personality, there will be destruction in the household. If both of you are soft and indecisive, nothing gets done. If both of you are extremely hard-headed, nothing gets done. There needs to be a compliment in all of our relationships. There needs to be a compliment. So now Musa alayhi salam is recognizing that even in the work of Allah's deen, even in the mission given to him by Allah, he cannot be perfect. And he needs someone there to remind him that he is not perfect. And when you remember, this is the part to remember now, when you remind yourself that you are not perfect, then you truly appreciate that only Allah is perfect. The tasbih of Allah only really becomes something living for you. What is real tasbih of Allah? It's not just to say SubhanAllah, but it's to admit my own imperfection. I am not perfect. My job will be to remind Harun that he's not perfect. And his job will be to help me, which will remind me that I'm not perfect. I need him and he needs me. We need each other. And the fact that we have needs of each other means we're not perfect. The only one who doesn't have need is Allah. So when you and I start thinking that we can do everything ourselves, that we don't need any help. Whatever project you're doing, whatever, sometimes people are volunteering at a masjid, sometimes they're helping out at a school, sometimes you're starting your business or you're making a decision in your family and you think to yourself, I don't need anybody's help. I can do everything myself. Nobody else will do it right. It is almost as though you have in your head that you're beyond flaw. That there are no gaps that you have that other people can fill. That's what's being reminded to you and me in كَيْ نُسَبِّحَكَ كَثِيرًا so we can do tasbih of you, our Rabb, together. This is also an important reminder for you and me that in the work of this deen, whatever work you do in this deen, and when we work together as Muslims and do any projects, then there will be times that you will be criticized by me or I will be criticized by you. Maybe what I do isn't perfect, maybe what I said isn't perfect, maybe I could have said something better and somebody comes and criticizes me. Maybe after this khutbah is done, somebody comes to me, brother, this one thing you said, I didn't like it at all, I think you're incorrect. And he corrects me. Now what should be my reaction? Oh yeah? Well, do you want to give khutbah? Do you want to do that instead? Are you on YouTube? Huh? I'm supposed to, that's supposed to be a reminder that I'm not perfect. And I'm supposed to take the best of what criticism comes and try to better myself. That's what I'm supposed to do. And I'm supposed to be grateful to the other because he gave me an opportunity to remember not my imperfection, but the perfection of Allah. This is not about you. It's not about me. It's about Allah.